Hello beautiful Leo, welcome to my channel Miss Reamy Healings, my name is Reem. Welcome into your romantic love reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Leo on your soul to soul connection. So please define the connection however you wish. We are all on different journeys and please use your um, discernment because we're all on different timelines. So I could be reading for an energy of another person that you're connected to um, or have connected to in the past. I could be reading for an energy that you are currently connecting with today or I could be reading for an energy that you will be connecting to in the future that you haven't even met yet um, that you haven't even met yet okay so please use your discernment um, and I just uploaded your spiritual growth reading so um, if you feel guided and uh, inclined to listen to those messages I highly recommend the spiritual growth readings as they are healing and very resourceful um, for growth and enlightenment and your development um, and you deserve love <laughs> popped out um, I'm going to take that as a sign because I went blank as if they were um, trying to channel something to me and then this card kind of shot out like this arrow <laughs> as if someone you know was it was shooting this arrow pulling it back and shooting it forward um you you are lovable you deserve love and i was just going to say i always say a disclaimer before i get going especially in in love readings that we do not entertain toxicity here um, we do not support toxic energies low energies or you know repetitive karmic cycles if you are um, you know, in something like that, I highly um, suggest and recommend that you seek the appropriate guidance to help you transmute that energy. If there is any energy like that that comes out here, I will help you transmute that energy because you deserve love. Because it is everyone's divine right to love and be loved in return. So we will, you know, talk about anything that needs to be talked about. You deserve love. There's, um, this is a romance angel. Trust. This is about trusting yourself. Um, I'm an intuitive reader. I don't just read the cards verbatim. I have to go with the energies and what I feel and what gets channeled to me. This is about you trusting yourself in situations. This is about you understanding that you deserve love do you see all of these cupids that are getting ready to shoot the arrow of love if you are not in a romantic connection today so if you're completely single i do feel like this is something that is coming your way i feel like there's lots of lessons here about trusting yourself trusting your own judgments when you meet a person okay is this person do they have the right intentions am i asking the right questions what does their energy feel like is their energy the same vibrational match as me can i grow with this person that type of trust using your own intuition using your logic analyzing because you deserve love you have every right and the divine right to receive this kind of love and the divine is gently you know shooting this arrow of love your way okay so let's get a message from the good tarot and then we'll do a spread for you okay one more shuffle here i just want to get an overall message here and then we'll use the light seers tarot to do your spread for leo please <laughs> page of cups yes and eight of cups wow so in your spiritual growth we had the card of moving forward in the sufi wisdom and i said immediately when i saw that card i said that's the eight of cups energy 
because it was someone looking ahead like this, looking forward, no longer looking into the past. That is exactly what you're doing. You are looking for better. You are wanting better. Why? Because you are trusting yourself because you have gone through major transformations. I highly recommend your spiritual growth reading because there is a really big lesson that you are learning at this time. There are lessons of forgiveness and forgiveness is not about justifying anyone's actions of what they have done to you or what they haven't done or vice versa. Forgiveness a lot of people confuse it and think that, or oh, if I forgive, that makes what that other person did to me okay. That's not what, for, what forgiveness means. Forgiveness is about standing in your power. Forgiveness is such a calm but powerful enlightenment energy of peace. Of Forgiveness is this energy of you telling yourself and you telling the universe, the cosmos, that I am no longer holding on to pain this is what this card represents. You are embodying new energy as you release and free yourself from any attachments. And you're looking forward for better. Beautiful energy. This Page of Cups energy, there is this new emergence of love that is coming your way. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, this is new, okay? So again, you may not even have met anyone yet. You may have just met a new person. Maybe you're, you're dealing with them right now. So take what resonates, what, whatever timeline you're on. I feel like there's something so different about this this time. It's not what you have dealt with in the past because you are in this vibration and this energy of no longer dealing with that. You've, you created that. And that's what you're receiving. Yes, receiving. Six of Pentacles. Give and take reciprocity. I give to you, you give to me. Look at this generosity there's that infinity there's that balance reciprocated energy this is interesting because this is coming out as your overall energy here you could be seeing 888 page of swords let's get all your cards out look at this eight of cups twice Eight of Cups twice. When I was talking about forgiveness in your spiritual growth reading, I said that this doesn't have to be a vocal forgiveness of you going up to someone and saying, oh, I forgive you. This could be just writing it down on a piece of paper and saying, I forgive everything from my past. Everyone, everything, every situation. I forgive me. And... This is like, this is a purification process for you. This is about purifying the past and looking forward and moving forward. This is about you standing in your power, standing in peace, because no one can give you peace. No one can gift you with that. You give peace to yourself. That's what forgiveness is. So that you can stand here powerfully saying, no more to this baggage because I want what's coming to me. I know that there's better. I know that there's more. And you have this energy confirming itself, amplifying itself twice, actually three times. <laughs> and your one in your spiritual, well, actually it was the energy in your spiritual growth reading. And it's mirroring itself here in your romantic life. So let's keep going and see what's coming towards you because we're not dealing with the past anymore we're going for better leo we're going for more we're going what we to what you deserve four of pentacles queen of wands i 
I see you being extremely careful. Careful with who you give your energy to. Yep. Queen of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Eight of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Tower. Um, Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh. Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. The Wheel. Wow. If this isn't moving forward, I don't know what is. Look at this energy. I wanted to get clarification on this moon energy you have here at the tower. I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. And then at the bottom of the deck, look at this. Wheel of Fortune was your overall energy in your spiritual growth reading about moving forward. Karmic lessons learned. learning the the biggest lessons and then trusting yourself and look at all this abundance and new beginnings being cultivated here ace of pentacles ace of wands and nine of cups this fulfillment energy joy happiness all right let's talk This moon energy is the energy that I keep being drawn to. It's as if it's this um, magnet that I keep. Um, like I want to talk about these other cards and they keep veering me here to this moon and tower energy. Lots of feminine energy, not female or male gender specific lots of healing energy emotional healing energy coming through here i was talking about in your spiritual growth reading how this transformation is not an easy one i know we don't have death here but we had death in your spiritual growth reading and i feel this transformative energy here this transformation that you're going through you're trusting yourself on all levels and because we're talking about romance you need to go through a lot of emotional and heart healing and it's not an easy not an easy transformation not an easy change but a necessary change it's also an inevitable change this is universal cosmos energy cosmic energy these are energies that you can delay, but you cannot delay them for long. This is the more that you resist heart healing, emotional healing, the more that you resist the notion of releasing the past, the more that you hold on to grudges, the more that you hold on to resentment, the more that you do not believe that you deserve love the more that you believe that you're going to encounter horrible relationships the more that that mindset occurs eight of swords five of swords the more that this delays this new love new abundance joy fulfillment moving forward the, the longer that delays and it creates resistance and the transformation is harder so this is about releasing resistance okay this is about 
letting go a little bit. I know it's very scary to feel vulnerability, moon energy here, because it's it's the the full moon is at its fullest. It's it's vulnerable. It's showcasing itself so brightly in the night sky for all to see. It's as if you are showcasing your vulnerability. You're putting your heart on your sleeve and that scares the shit out of you. I think that's the first time I've ever sworn. I'm sorry. <laughs> on camera. I'm getting so emotional because I can feel your energy here and it's scary, but it's necessary to let go of this because the more that you hold on to this, it's going to delay the beauty of life that is waiting for you to enjoy and the love that you deserve. And this is about trusting yourself, not trusting another person, not yet, okay? This is about trusting yourself first because if you can't trust yourself first, you cannot trust another person. So you need to trust yourself first, go through this process, and then you can, you know, observe others, meet others, meet, you know, the one for you and say, okay, you know what? My gut is telling me yes, or my gut is telling me no. This is interesting because I'm seeing these are sparrow birds here in this card and I just posted on my community page that a sparrow came and visited me and I went up to him or her I think it was a him and I um, he allowed me to to pet him and I touched his little furry body and it was so lovely um, you know, seeing the sparrow bird and the trust that he had with me. And this is this energy that's coming through. I'm telling you guys this because this page of swords energy, this is this learning how to trust. See these sparrows that are flying around you? This is companionship. This is also love. They do represent love. They also represent self-worth and dignity. So I feel like you are really again your spiritual growth reading tying and mirroring here into your love life this is about you trusting yourself and refining your self-worth refining your skill set refining your dignity once you do that you are able to release and let go that we talked about anything that just doesn't serve you it becomes easy to move away from things like that from releasing from attachments and then you have this beautiful queen energy queen of wands queen of cups not male or female gender specific but again this feminine healing energy because there's a lot of emotional healing right now that's taking place tons of it it's very uncomfortable because you feel extremely vulnerable but it's necessary okay i feel like you are finding your confidence you are finding your passions you are finding your magic you are vibrating at a new frequency this new energy that you are cultivating, that you are meditating on, that you are honing in, that you are holding within and expressing without, as within, so without. There's a lot of telepathic communications to spirit here, okay? The Queen of Cups was directly under the Page of Swords energy with the Sparrow Birds. So I feel like there's telepathic communication to spirit helping you guiding you very psychic okay 
especially with the Queen of Cups and the Moon energy coming out, lots of intuition being refined as well. Your energy holistically is being refined, fine-tuned. And not only that, Leo, but you're also refining your skill set here with aid of aid of material. Focus on your work. Focus on your foundations here with Ten of Pentacles. It's interesting because we're talking about love here. And again, I feel like I'm discussing your spiritual growth. And it's interesting because both of them are tying one another. You had your spiritual growth reading, which really focused on your enlightenment through forgiveness. And then here you have the same energy and it's opening opportunities to love. And I love this energy for you because I feel like after you go through this process, Leo, it's just what awaits. It's inevitable for you if you believe you deserve it and if you trust yourself. It's inevitable for you. It's there for you new passions, new beginnings. This could be a move for some of you with the Ace of Pentacles. This is also a new job for some of you. I don't know if I just said that. New move, new job. This is also a new commitment here, especially with Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new commitment being forged and created. New. You deserve love. And this is what you deserve. This is what you deserve. This is what you want. Whatever it is that you need, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you've thought of in your mind, dreamed of, you deserve it. Whether it's the family that you dream of, a partnership, a commitment, traveling, whatever it is that is heavy on your mind, all of the above, you deserve it and you will receive it. This is you receiving all of these cups. Remember we talked about emotional healing? You cannot receive until you heal. And that's why this healing energy is coming through for you. Okay? And this is what I help you do. This is what I want you to receive. This is what I want to help you transmute. This is what I want to help you believe that you deserve. This is what I want you to believe and trust in yourself. Because as soon as you do, you are aligning to the universe and you're saying, okay, bring it in. And it's going to shift and move and luck is on the way, prosperity, joy, abundance, you're no longer going to resist, okay? We're releasing this energy of resistance. And then you'll get that commitment, that love, that passion, that family, whatever it is that you have in your mind and in, and in your heart. It's so interesting because usually I pick up on other energies, but I don't pick up on another energy. It's this is so focused on you and your belief system and you believing that you deserve it. And that's what spirit wants me to tell you. And they're saying if there is a focus on another person, then there's no focus on you. And the focus right now is on you. So I have to go with what I get channeled. And that may not be the most popular thing to talk about you and healing. I know we want to peek through the veil into the person that's meant for you. But sometimes just that mystery is that much more exciting. To know that that's there. And it's up to you. So... I hope that this resonated. I hope that it helps. And I love you guys so very much. You guys absolutely deserve this at 10,000%. And um, I can't wait to continue reading for you because I know it's just going to get better and to 
it's going to unfold beautifully. So thank you so much for watching.